Same perfume. Am I right? Brooke is your friend from AA? I have this for you. You don't need to run that by me. You're the vice president. Oh, actually, I wasn't really running it by you. It's kind of already done. Oh, so you were just uh, showing it to me as a courtesy, huh? Well, you know, I'm trying to suck up to my boss a little bit. Oh, hey, mommy's being a suck up. You say, hey, mommy, you're a suck up, mommy. Suck up. Ah, oh, boy. Awesome. Well, hey. Thank you so much. Well, you for know, us Spencer men, we just tell it like it is, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, you know, you, you got to teach uh, my son, the president, to do a little sucking up himself. I know. If he wants to keep his job. Where is he? Where is our president? Well, actually, he is driving Ivy back to Forrester. There's a little drama there today that was pretty upsetting for her. What did Rick do now? Oh, only the uh, worst, most idiotic thing imaginable. Rehired Quinn Fuller. The reason I haven't seen you since you left home is because you've been living a whole other lifestyle. I've done research, and I know why parents kept it a secret. What secret? You're not my sister, Maya. You're not Maya at all. You're Myron. You're my brother. I've read about the operations and procedures. What did you have done? How many? Why can't you just wear the clothes? Because being myself isn't an outfit that I can put on and take off. But if you didn't look right in the dress, didn't that tell you something? Namely, that you were a boy? No. I never was. I mean the way nature made you. This is the way I was born. You cannot tell. Not Rick. Not anyone. No problem. You take care of me, I'll take care of you. Talk about explosive. What? My decision to rehire Quinn Fuller, I, I thought you had heard. Yeah, I've had a lot on my mind. Nicole, I, I thought you guys were working on your relationship. So did I. That's why I'm here. No time like the present, right? Absolutely. You and Maya have years to make up for. Not sure we're into braiding each other's hair or gabbing about guys like sisters do when they grow up. We kind of miss out on that. Well, I'm sure that there are other things you can share. We both love fashion. I mean, this place, <laughs> I'd kill to get a tour. See what it takes for you to be a model. You saw the photo shoot the other day. I know, but you seemed a little off. Probably because you were in a rush, like you said. Well, she's definitely not in a rush now. Come on, babe. Show her around. It'll be fun. He fired Quinn. Why would Rick rehire her? Well, according to Liam, the official party line is that Forrester buyers were clamoring for Quinn's jewelry. As opposed to Ivy's? In I mean... addition to 
Look, it's just that little tyrant's way of sticking it to Ivy because she's no fan of mine. He's letting his personal feelings influence his business decisions. That's no way to run a company. That's why I'm telling you that somewhere down the road, control of Forrester has to be wrested from Rick. And as far as uh, Quinn is concerned and any claims she's making that her insanity is a thing of the past, that's a bunch of crap. She's as unpredictable as a rattler. Well, I've got to get Will back to daycare. I'm going to do it. You are. I'm giving him a piggyback ride. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Let's go. Piggyback ride. Is Brooke the friend you've been helping? Yes. OK, she is, all right? But before you get all, baby, remember that we, we have a history together. We, we share a child together. I couldn't just leave her in her time of need. There's no reason for you to get upset. None at all. Make sure to introduce Nicole to everyone. I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of her around here. Oh. Oh, dear. What? Well, I totally forgot that I have a fitting downstairs. I guess we'll have to postpone the grand tour till another time. I could wait here with Rick until you're done. Unless I'd be in the way. Actually, you would. Rick is too polite to say it, but he's, he's really busy. Back-to-back -back meetings, conference calls. Nothing I can't reschedule. Go on, go do your thing. I'll keep Nicole company. I'm sure there's something that we'll be able to talk about. You know, on second thought, why don't you come down with me to the fitting? It won't take long, and we can start the tour from there. That OK with you, Rick? Of course it is. Right, honey? Hey, it's me. Um, I know I left you a couple messages, but just give me a call when you get a chance, OK? I love you. I stopped by Brooks on the way over here. I, I've been worried about her, you know. I know. Well, she is going through something more than I realized. OK. Brooks, way to secrecy? Not really. I just, I'm concerned. And I wish she would lean on me instead of this other person. Oh, come on. Rich? I mean, it's bad enough he's involved with my niece. Now, now he's two-time? No, 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 it's not Rich. Well, who? She says that he's been a lifeline, but all I see are complications, especially considering he's... It's what? It's broken some kind of trouble, Kate? Look, I was totally upfront about how concerned I was with Brooks drinking. I, I, I even started slipping myself. That's why I went to an AA meeting. I had no way of knowing that she was going to be there. And when I got there, she was telling her story, and I could hear the desperation in her voice. And I, I knew that it was way worse than I had thought. So we made a pact, right? We made a pact that we would be there for each other during the dark times. And no, it hasn't been easy. And the temptation is still there. But the good thing is that, Brooke, you haven't had a drink since that first meeting, right? I mean, I, look, it's early on. I get it. But I mean, we've made progress, right? We've, we've learned things about each other. And baby, you're right. I, I should have been honest with you from the get-go and said that Brooke was my friend from AA. But she had enough to worry about. You know, I, I just didn't think she needed you going ballistic on her for no reason at all. Can we please just move past this? All right, look, I appreciate that you don't want to betray Brooke's confidence, but Katie. <laughs> I know you're going to keep after me until I tell you everything. Well, we both knew something was going on, and if you know what that something is, you've got to tell me about Actually, it. Actually, it's more than one thing. All the more reason that we should be there for your sister and not this bozo or her family. I mean, he couldn't possibly be as concerned about her as we are. He's kind of family. What? The person who's supporting Brooke is Deacon. What? Yeah, I know. That was my reaction, too. Why would she turn to Sharp, of all people? Well, he is Hope's father. Oh, come on. Forget about that. He's a convict and a loser, and nothing illustrates that better than his being engaged to Quinn. 
And I'm sure that uh, she's not going to be thrilled sharing her fiance with the woman that he fathered a child with. I mean, this is going to send her way over the edge again. Here it comes, right? I mean, I, I can't. I put it all out on the table, and all you can say is, I can't believe you. What have I been saying to everyone here at Forrester? That I've changed. I'm not the same woman that Rick fired all those months ago. Gone is the erratic, neurotic Quinn. She's been replaced with a, a more reasonable, likable Quinn. That is all because of you. I and mean, the truth is, I couldn't be more proud of you. You are, you are trying to be a good man and improve yourself. And in doing so, you, you've reached out to a friend in need. I mean, even if, even if that friend was Brooke. Yes, I do wish that you would have told me it was her from the beginning, but I never would have stopped you from saving Brooke from herself. The same way you helped save me from myself. We are engaged. And we are going to be married. I don't ever want there to be secrets between us. Oh. <laughs> oh. <sighs> See, HR. They want to get me back in the system. I'm going to catch up with you later so we can celebrate. I guess we're going to be seeing more of each other now that I'm working here at Forrester again. I won't disappoint Brooke. I never do. I was hoping to get a little alone time with Nicole. Girl about your past. Odds are she knows a few things about you that I don't. Sweetie, you know Nicole and I didn't really grow up together. Yeah, but sisters, they share all sorts of things. I'm sure she has a few little tidbits that I don't know. He'll probably be disappointed, won't he? Probably. Then again. You know, on second thought, why don't I just cancel the fitting? There's no reason I can't do it tomorrow. And there's no reason to reschedule. Nicole will be fine. It's okay, sis. I won't divulge anything you don't want me to. There. You see? Now go so I can get to know Nicole better. Remind her of what an amazing big sister she has. My sister Bridget, the doctor, she lives in New York. She has a little boy. Well, then again, he's not so little anymore. Does she know about you and my sister? The whole world knows about me and your sister. Well, that you're together running forests or side by side, but there's more to the story, right? I mean, if you're, you're discussing Maya's loyalty, how honest she is. Honesty is a big thing for you, isn't it? Well, yeah, and a relationship can survive without it. Which is probably why none of mine ever did. Amber, Caroline. They couldn't be less alike except for the fact they kept things from me. Which just, just shattered my trust. You and Maya, you're just getting reacquainted again. It's almost like you're strangers. But once you do get to know each other better, you'll realize what I have. With Maya, what you see is what you get. There's no secrets, no holding back. Of course. How did you know my sister's keeping something from you? She's so good at hiding it. I'm not saying that she is. It's just, Maya hasn't always been open and honest. That's enough, Nicole. 
You've said enough. Look, if anybody should be there for your sister, I think it should be us. I agree. And I'm not crazy about Deacon, but maybe he can help her better than we can right now. You can't be serious. I love that you're looking out for my family. But we shouldn't go charging over there, at least not yet. All right. Whatever you want. That's what I want. You know what I want? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quinn's right. I mean, we're gonna have to stop expecting that she's gonna react the way that she has in the past. You actually believe that she's changed? I think that she's finally getting the life that she wants. Because of you. No, I mean, because of Rick. I mean, you saw how happy she is to be working at Forrester. I know, I know, and I've gotta talk to him. I have no idea what inspired him to rehire her. Brooke, probably the fact that she's talented is all get out. Last time she was here, she practically cost Ridge his life. Okay, wait a second, wait a minute. Bill's the guy that threw Ridge into the Persian oh. Gulf, not Quinn. Besides, Brooke, you heard what she said. It's not who she is anymore. So you're actually going to marry her? I, I get that you have major concerns. Damn it, Brooke, we're good together. She and I, we, we're good for each other. And as far as you and me, you will always be my unattainable woman. I mean, at least that's how it's always been, right up until I, I mean, when I saw her just now, at her very best, it made me realize if you, if you ever feel the urge to drink again, I'll be there for you. I will. Please don't cut me out just because of Gwen. Speaking of my fiance, I gotta head out. You made a huge difference in my life. And honestly, I don't know what I would have done without you. I will always care for you, too. Lush. This is a new low, even for you. Who the hell do you think you are? 